Hey, welcome to The Worst Dating Sim. This is a visual novel that features two rival feuding gangs and a very lonesome boy, that's us, uh, who's caught in the middle of all of it. You can get this game on Itch.io. I'll leave a link in the description below. Also, support your friendly neighborhood devs. You'll find their Twitter and Tumblr in the description too. Now, why is this the worst dating sim? Well, first of all, there's no save feature. We can't save at all. And out of all the 69 bad endings so far, there's only one good ending. So I'm gonna have a hell of a time playing this. <laughs> anyway, let's begin. Uh, this game is not to m meant to be taken seriously. It's pure shitpost. <laughs> Regardless, I hope you enjoy experiencing the worst dating sim. Thank you. I know what I'm getting into. Dot, dot, dot. Huh? Oh. I zoned out so bad. What's my name again? It's Sarian. My name is Sarian. Okay, okay. Now I remember. My name is Sarian. I'm an 18-year-old high school student. Not very attractive. These in grades. Nothing special. Long, unnecessary so story short. My life is plain. All that's really noteworthy is that I have a terrible fear of thugs and walking alone at night. I've had the unfortunate luck of encountering thugs while walking alone one night in the past. I was battered mercilessly. I had to pretend I was dead so they would leave me alone. It's hard to go a day without thinking about that scene. Thugs are a pretty understandable fear, that I know. But I hate walking alone in the dark. My anxiety gets the best of me and I start to cry. Oh no! The students at my high school walk alone at night all the time with no problems. I wish I was a kid again. When you're a kid, you have no clue what the hell anxiety or stress is. It doesn't control your life. Then you grow up. That's hella relatable. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my life anymore. I don't want anyone to talk to me. I don't want any interaction. I simply just don't know. My name is Sarian, and I want something to change positively in my pathetic life. I hate this. It's Saturday. I shop for a while. I don't keep track of time, and suddenly it's dark. I hate this so much. But I have no other option than to walk home. It's not like it's that far, but still, I feel sick. I have seen this exact, <laughs> this exact background somewhere. All I can hear are my own footsteps and my heavy breathing. It's really too quiet tonight. It's not like it's that late. But nothing has happened and I'm already close to home. Think what? Huh? I let out a yelp as I feel something under my foot. It was someone's boot. As I look down, I see a large figure, squatting like a delinquent. I stepped on a delinquent's foot. Oh no! Are you kidding me? How the fuck did I not see them? Quickly adjusting myself, I lower my head and apologize. Uh, I'm very sorry, I, I swear I didn't see... Unable to finish apologizing, the figure lifts himself up and towers over me. Shit. They're practically shaking the ground with every step. Hello. Where's the nearest cliff? My heart isn't just racing, it's fucking skydiving. As I feel my eyes well up with tears, it gets directly in my face and proceeds to grip firmly onto my shoulders and shake me around. Oh. Uh, oi, 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 oi. Is he an ape? <laughs> You think it's funny stepping on my boots, kid? 
I'll teach you a lesson by caving your face in. Oh, shit. We're really in for it. I have to say something. Uh. Uh. I, uh let's talk about this. Huh? Talking's for squares. I know square. Uh, but you're talking right now. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> the fuck? Oh my god. This is gonna be awful. So there's really only one option? That's right? Christ. Uh, maybe we should be aggressive. Uh, maybe I should cave your face in. Oh, we got a tough guy right here. I like that. I can tell you look like you pissed yourself, but you're acting, you're still acting tough. Wait, seriously? Uh, name's it Suji. What's your name? Uh, Sarian? Hmm. I'll call you a kid. Is my name that weird? Where you headed, kid? Well, with this time of night, I, I would say home. Sounds great. What's it like? Uh, do you not have a home? Uh, no. I just kind of roam. Sounds like a typical thug. That must be awful, though. Hey, uh... Cold beans? <laughs> Come over and sleep with me. That's a little too forward. Uh, cold beans? What? What am I supposed to respond with, idiot? Oh my god, really? Well, cool beans didn't work. Maybe we can just tell him to go away. Huh? <laughs> you know, just because you said that, I'm sticking with you. You even think about trying to get rid of me, I'll clock you. Is he a lost puppy or something? <laughs> what the hell's going on? I've got a grown man stalking me. This is terrifying. I have to persuade him to leave. Oh shit, I, I said, or maybe we should run? <laughs> what? Ditching me already, huh? He swiftly grabs onto my arm before I could run. Damn it. <laughs> oh god, this is ridiculous. Um... I said leave me alone. Huh? Didn't I say I'm sticking with you? You damn millennials don't listen to nothing. I'm pretty sure he's young enough to be a millennial too. Fuck off. Alright, the right choices are like all over the place. Oh man, I appreciate that the cursor is a nice little fist. Uh, do you want a dog treat too? Huh? You mean treats shaped like dogs? Uh, I'd love one. <laughs> what? Uh, that was supposed to be an insult. <laughs> Let's try this one more time. Maybe I can throw him off. Shit. Uh, there's a stray cat behind you. W what? <laughs> Maybe we can run now? He hid behind me. He's scared of cats? Is, it's actually a little cute. Where is it? It, uh, ran away. Hell yeah, it did. My look scared it off, huh? <laughs> he is scared of cats, huh? I really can't get him to leave. What the hell am I supposed to do? Let him sock me? Jesus, it's just one ni night, right? Anything else I, s I say, he'll murder me. Uh, okay. Okay, let's walk home. Hell yeah. God, this is so stupid. <laughs> Finally, I can rest. But can I? With this ape following me around? Hope you don't mind I drank half your cola bottles. Damn. <laughs> You've only been here for two minutes. Why did you do that? I was thirsty. It's pretty obvious. I recycled them, don't worry.
Uh, d- do you want to watch Animal Planet? <laughs> uh, yes, please. Aw, kitty cat. I could hear him audibly crying next to me. I guess he does like cats, just not in person. You know, he wouldn't be too scary if he changed his appearance, maybe. And lowered his voice. Uh, it's Suji, if you're getting too emotional, I can turn it off. No, I'm... <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> what a liar. Ah, oh, he's gonna kill me over every option. Uh, turn off the TV. Oh no! What the hell are you doing? I was getting invested in this story, asshole. Are you kidding me? All right, we're gonna have to tell him to stop crying. Damn it, you're right, kid. Real men don't cry. They drink tears, not produce them. <sighs> huh? Is he gone? I gather my surroundings and get up. My name's still Syrian. It's Summer. A Sunday, I think. That means no school. Finally, I can catch my breath. I suppose I could make some breakfast. What did I buy again yesterday? I bought m eggs, milk, butter, and a... <laughs> yeah, the cola. I drank the rest. <laughs> right, cola. Fuck. <laughs> Wait, what? You're still here? Of course I am. I passed out on me, so I put you to bed. Uh, I thought something happened to you. I was worried. <gasps> that explains why I'm in my school uniform still. But seriously, did he really take care of me? He seems like he'd want me dead, if anything. Why should I matter to him? I'm just a stranger. Maybe he's not as bad as I thought he was. I could try to bond with him more if he's willing to cooperate. Let's see. Uh, uh, Tsuji, do you like... <laughs> Fuck. Do you like cats? Uh, no, uh, I don't like cats. Uh, I'm as masculine as can be, damn it. You don't know me. But we watched Animal Planet last night, right? Fuck. Uh, do you like punching people? That seems like a pretty obvious answer. Oh, is that an invitation? God damn it. Fuck off. Alright, this game is gonna make me work real hard for romance. I've never worked this hard in a visual novel. Uh, do, do you like girls? Uh, maybe I do. Who doesn't love girls? There's a start, I guess. <laughs> I'm sure in several alternate universes he punched my lights out. But so far, I'm safe. Well then, let's spice it up a bit. Oh my god. All these... All these questions are gonna get me killed. Uh, are you dating anyone? No. Huh. Wait. Oh shit. Uh, are you... Are you gay? Uh, I don't know. Are you confused with your sexuality then? <laughs> I guess I asked a pretty deep question. Whoops. Uh, it's okay if you are. I'm not going to judge you. I mean, I really don't know. I'm not really attracted to people at all. Oh, I see what you mean. See, Ace... Uh, anyway, tell me about yourself. I didn't hear that much out of, about you yet. Well, no shit. You're a thug who followed me home because I told you to leave. 
then he proceeded to drink all my cola and sleep in my house. Anyway, I think he's going easier on me now that he's lowered his voice. <laughs> what, what is there to say about me? <laughs> I can't exactly tell him I have a fear of thugs, huh? He would probably call me a wuss if he knew I was scared of the dark. I just go to school and uh, try my best to stay healthy. And I uh, like cola. I guess that's not really healthy. Hmm. Sound boring as hell. I'm well aware. Not like I'm any better, I mean. I'm sure you have a lot of good qualities. Everyone does. Not sure what the hell those qualities are, but... I'm sure they're still there. Uh, there's nothing good, trust me. Why is he so harsh on himself? Then again, he is homeless. It's hard to be positive in that kind of situation. Huh. This is the weirdest connection I've had with anybody. But I mean, I don't have many connections. I'm pretty antisocial. Seriously, though. I'm deathly afraid of thugs, but he's starting to grow on me. He really is. <laughs> grow on me is like some rabid dog. Like, a uh, dog is cute, but it's still rabid, you know? If this guy is glued to me, I might as well make him feel better, I guess. And make him more comfortable around me so he doesn't kill me in one hit. Okay. Starting today, I'll try my best to make this homeless, insecure thug happy. Thank God he didn't say that out loud. <laughs> it's Suji. We're going out. What? I mean outside, you know, look around. Uh, oh, right. I do that a lot already, so I'll be great at this. I thought he'd keep his voice down, but... I guess when he's excited, he still screams. Uh, just let me change on my uniform first. No time, kid. What you're wearing is good enough. Uh, okay, fine. <laughs> Alright. Guess we're going out. Oh, hell yeah. The crisp air gets my blood pumping, kid. Sure. He literally lives outside, so his, if his blood is pumping right now, it, it must mean he has some seriously high blood pressure. Uh, would you like to go... Hmm... To the park? Yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> Let's race, kid. Whoever's last is a rotten vegetable. And he's and he calls me kid, huh? <laughs> he is growing on me. Oh look, the rotten vegetable is here. <laughs> what kind of performance is that? He didn't even jog. Uh, because the park is 15 steps from where we were. Ah, uh, was it? Uh, whatever, right? <laughs> Let's talk. Ask me anything you want. I won't bite. Are you sure about that? <laughs> if you say so. I'm taking his word he won't be on the verge of punching me this time. Whew. This is my chance to ask anything I'm curious about, I suppose. Uh... Are you in a gang? Oh yeah, I'm a biker gang. I'm the leader. Really? That's cool. <laughs> uh, my gang's always got my back, so I gotta respect them by living, you know? They're like family to me. Our bond is the strongest bonds. Uh, okay, uh... How do you eat? Oh, uh... Since I don't make a living, I borrow money from my parents. Oh. <laughs> Obviously, I get the good old lecture when I ask. They got every right to lecture me. Uh, well, he's not gonna punch me, right? Any siblings? Oh, shit. Huh? He looks pretty serious. He's not responding. Weird. Uh, well, I think we're done talking here. Hell yeah, sweet talking session. I'm not gonna ask about his chest size. <laughs> He's gonna beat us up. Plus, we know his chest is pretty, pretty big. I finally got to know more about him. Sweet. Huh. Hmm. 
a gurgling sound? Atsuji, did your stomach grumble? <laughs> oh shit, uh, what'd he say? Maybe. <laughs> okay, N then let me buy you something to eat. C kid, you're too good to me. <laughs> Why did his face turn into emoji? <laughs> yeah, you don't have to do that, you know. Well, I don't want you to starve, you know. Uh, let's go to the local convenience store. Whatever's last is a rotten vegetable. What, are you running? Oh, that's cheating. You can't get a head start. Damn it, you beat me. Uh, really? I guess I got a little excited. Maybe I am the kid. Let's get you something to eat. What about... Oh, shit. Uh, some... Dango? Fuck! Oh, no. Oh, no. Huh? I only eat Dango in the spring. It's currently summer. How the hell was I supposed to know that? <laughs> Damn it. Alright, maybe he'd like some yakitori. Yes, please. That'll do. I ended up buying him a ton of food since he ate as fast as Usain Bolt runs. I should have just bought him a full course dinner, Jesus. Then again, the guy's homeless, so it felt morally right to buy him a lot. Uh, thanks for the food again. It means a lot to me. And my stomach. It's no problem, really. Hey, why are you being so nice to me? Uh... <laughs> oh, shit. Uh... I wanna be bros. What? Why didn't you just say so? Oh, you gotta pass the bro test, though. Are you kidding me? What bro test? Get any answers wrong and I'll clock you since you're probably faking. <laughs> what? Fine, L let's just get this over with. Shit. Not the bro test. Hell yeah. Is this a game show? Let's get this show on the road. Pack your bags, mama. <laughs> We're going on a field trip. I... I have no clue what's happening, but... Hit me with your best shot. You got five questions. Get any wrong, you're not a true bro. Got it? Good. Question one. Do true bros love the color black? Uh, yes. Kid. Black isn't a color. What? <laughs> Fuck off. Uh, no. Da, da, da. You got damn right. True bros love whatever color they want. Black isn't even a real color. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Question two. Do true bros have facial hair? Uh, it depends. That's right. Doesn't matter if you got hair on your head or your face. <sighs> Question three. What kind of animals do true bros love? Uh, dogs. <gasps> no! Dogs are cute, but not for a true bro. Damn it. All right, they like killer whales, apparently. <sighs> right, True Bro loves killer whales specifically. How do you know? Uh, they're, they're pretty cute, I guess. I'm on a roll. <laughs> Don't get so cocky, kid. Question four. 
What is a medication and naturally occurring steroid hormone that is used to treat male uh, hypogonadism and certain types of breast cancer? It may also be used to increase athletic ability in the form of dopamine. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Uh, it's this one. Thanks, Wikipedia. <laughs> Hell yeah, testosterone bros. Finally. I'm ready for the last question. All right. Here's the last question. Final and hardest question. Question five. <laughs> Are you a, a true bro? <laughs> yes. What? Uh, that was the wrong sound effect. I meant... Right. Seriously, I won? Hell yeah, you did. Oh, thank God. Oh, we passed the true bro test. With, uh... Minimal damage. We're officially bros now. I'm changing your name to bro, bro. <laughs> so I, uh, I trust my life in your hands, okay? And you I trust your life in my hands. Uh, my heart skipped a beat. It's already dusk, huh? Oh, it is. I should probably get home before it's dark. Hey, bro, it's been a lot of fun today. Uh, probably one of the best days I've had in a long time. I'm uh, kind of happy you stepped on my boot. <laughs> uh, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. After school, sure thing. Uh, before I go, bro, how old are you? Uh, oh shit, I'm 18. Oh, uh, good. Uh, just, uh, just checking. How old are you, Asuji? It's <laughs> 23. You look older. Do I? I'll see ya, bro. <laughs> uh, see ya. He seems upset. Did I say something wrong? I believe I'm emotionally invested in this big, handsome boy. Tsuji really is a man after my own heart. But uh, yeah, I think I'll leave the episode here. So yeah, this shitpost of a game is actually pretty good. And so I'm going to keep playing it until we win over our big bar boy. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time. Bye.